Hi, my name's Emma Bell and I'm going to share with you the four things you must do to settle a busy mind and get focused. A 2010 Harvard research paper contains an alarming statistic. Our minds are lost in thought on average 47% of the time. That means we are lost in our thinking for almost half of our waking hours. A whacking 65% of the thoughts we have are either negative or redundant. So here are my four tips to settle your busy mind and get focused. Tip number one, do one thing at a time. I don't know about you but I have my best ideas and get more done when my mind is clear and settled. Studies show that you can only consciously do one thing at a time. When you focus on doing one thing at a time consciously you're more likely to do it well and not have to deal with the repercussions of it having been done badly. Focusing on one thing at a time enables your mind to settle on that task. Tip number two, do things that clear your mind. Now there's a nifty little approach that I use called the mindfulness minute and this is how it works. Count the number of deep breaths that you can comfortably manage inside a minute, focusing on the in and the out sensations of the breath entering and leaving the body. Then whenever you need to clear your mind and access that sense of calm, you can take that number of deep breaths. That's your mindfulness minute. You could also try listening to a recording of ocean waves on your iPod, imagining the smell of the sand and the sea. Whatever appeals to you, focus on a single technique that you can use to clear your mind. The more you use it, the stronger the association will become and the more rapidly you'll get to that clear mind state that we all crave. Tip number three, focus on the one thing that's important right now. There's only ever one current priority, the thing that needs to be done first. The definition of a priority is a thing which is regarded as more important than others. That there's always one thing truly more important than any other is handy because, as I've said, we can only ever do one thing at a time. Choose that one thing consciously. Don't deviate by checking your emails or making a list or grabbing a cup of coffee. If you're not clear on what the single priority is right now, then do the thing that's urgent and important and the thing that you least want to do. Tip number four, just get started. Set the timer on your phone for seven minutes and start working on that one thing. Ignore the voice in your head that's telling you it'll take you an hour to do it. It might but you're just going to start it right now. Who knows, you might well finish it in one sitting or you might not, but your brain will feel the relief of the job having been started. If you want to settle your busy mind, do one thing at a time, clear your mind, focus on the priority and set that timer without dithering or delaying. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have, then you'll love my new book, The True You. You can get your copy by clicking on the link in this email. Look out for my next video with the one thing you must do to be at your best in every single situation. I'll send it to you in a couple of days. Until then, connect with who you truly are so that you can be successful and happy on your own terms.